you all have been to birthday parties uh, well you have celebrated your birthdays also and birthday parties means birthday caps you can see here this girl is celebrating her birthday and all her friends are wearing the same cap now birthday caps are so exciting well have you ever noticed that this birthday cap is actually a shape called a cone just like the ice cream cone and you know that this cone has some mathematical properties as well let's see what you can see this is a birthday cap now this birthday cap actually has this vertex now vertex is the topmost corner of this cone now the distance between this vertex and the circular base now where does this circular base come from well we wear the cone that is the birthday cap and we wear it on top of our heads that actually creates this circular base now the distance between the vertex and this circular base is our slant height now you can see that this is the circular base so this is the center of the circle now this center creates a radius to the circular base now this will be called as the radius of the cone now if i ask you what will be the 2d image of this cone well you may say that the two dimension will have this slant height and one line over here that will create a triangle so a triangle is a 2d image of this cone so let's see how can we make a cone from a triangle see how we created a three dimensional object from a two dimensional object so you can see that we are having this vertex that is the topmost corner of this cone and we have already discussed that this cone has a circular base which has a radius called the radius of the cone now the distance between this vertex and any point on the circular base is called the slant height and one more thing now we add is that the distance between this vertex and the center of the circular base is called as height that is height of the cone remember that this is the height of the cone and this is called the slant height of the cone now the slant height is represented with the letter l now you can see that we we have given you the dimensions of this height and radius of this particular cone now if i ask you to find out the slant height of this cone can you find out well there is a simple logic you can see that this triangle is forming a right angle over here because height is perpendicular to radius in the so we have been given the dimensions of height and the radius so if this triangle is a right angle triangle the slant height will act as a hypotenuse now we know that we can use the pythagoras theorem here to find out the slant height of this cone well what does the pythagoras theorem say hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so let us substitute our values of the cone in this formula so hypotenuse here is the slant height that is l so l square is equal to perpendicular is height here and height has been given as 24 cm so 24 square plus base here is the radius and the radius is 7 cm we get 7 square now solving this we get l square is equal to 24 square is 576 plus 7 square is 49 or l is equal to what root over 576 plus 49 that gives us 625 or l is equal to 25 cm So now you know that if you are given the height and the radius you can find out the slant height Now if you are given the slant height and the height or the slant height and the radius you can find the third dimension easily by the Pythagoras theorem 
Now you can see that this cone has this right angle over here. So you can find out the slant height with the help of height and radius or any one of these with the help of other two. So what is a cone actually? This cone is a right circular cone. Why? Because this height is creating a right angle with the radius and this cone is having a circular base. That is why it will be called as right circular cone. Now you know what is a right circular cone? Now what about this cone? Is this a right circular cone? Well, you can say that this cone has a circular base. But is it height creating a right angle with the base? That is a radius? No, this is not a right angle. So this is not a right circular cone. Now what about this cone? Is it a right circular cone? Well, you can say that the height of this cone will be right angle to the radius, that is the base. But the difference is that it is not a circular base. You can see this is actually not a circular base. So this is also not a right circular cone. It is right angled here, but this, is, this does not have a circular base. So this is also not a right circular cone. So actually, when will be a cone be a right circular cone? When the line joining the vertex to the center of its base, that is this line joining the vertex and the center of the base, that is this center, marked as O, is at right angle to the base and the base is circular. This means it has to be right angle to the base and this base has to be circular. Now this is when a cone will be a right circular cone. Now you can see this is an upright cone. Now we have been given that the diameter of this cone is 10 cm and the height, that is the distance between this vertex and the center of the circle is 12 cm. Now can you find the slant height in this case? Find it yourself. Now we have been given that the diameter is 10 cm. But do we find the slant height using the diameter? No, we find the slant height using the height of the cone and the radius of the cone. So we know that the radius is diameter by 2. So it is what? 10 by 2, that gives us 5 cm. Now we know that the radius is actually 5 cm. And the height has been given to us as 12 cm. So what is slant height? Well, slant height can be found out by L is equal to root over h square plus r square. This is because h is, this is because L is acting as the hypotenuse over here. So let's solve this. Here h is 12 cm. So we take it as 12 square plus r is 5 centimeter. We have already found out. So this is 5 square. Now solving this we get root over 12 square is 144 plus 5 square is 25. We get this as root over 169 and root over 169 gives us 30. So we found out that the slant height is 13 centimeter. So what did we study? Studied that if it is a right circular cone and the height is given to us and the radius is given to us. Now what is this height? The distance between the vertex and the center of the circle and this radius is given to us. Then we can easily find out the slant height of the cone. Now if the slant height of the cone is L, then L is actually root over h square plus r square where h is the height of the cone and r is the radius of the cone.